What's up, y'all? I was in the middle of changing the oil change on the bike, and I figured I'd go live. Matter of fact, I actually was already changing it, and uh, I was like, you know what? Let me just go live so y'all can see how to change the oil on a Road King CVO. So I just show y'all what I done did already. Uh, took the uh, dipstick out, um, took my drain plug out, got all the oil out. You know, I kind of I'm the kind of guy I work with what I what I got. So um, I got two little food pans right here, which I'm gonna use in the end. I'm gonna bend them after I add my oil. I'm gonna bend them and I'm gonna take my funnel and put them back into the uh, put the oil back into the to the bottles and go drop them off at the at the auto store. So yeah, so for, so far got the oil drain. I got my oil uh, filter off. Um, I was saying in my video, I started to make, make sure you put some uh, paper towels or a towel up underneath there to make sure that you uh, catch that oil when this oil filter come off because it for sure will, <clears throat> for sure will uh, get all over the motor and stuff and you be smelling oil burning. What's up, man? If you're tapping in, make sure you get a video, a, th video a thumbs up, man. And uh, comment, comment where y'all from, man. I got your boy out here on live changing oil. You know I mean, y'all don't get to see the ugly, the ugly part where I be forgetting, forgetting stuff. So, but um, this ain't my first time. I did, this is like the second time I did it. So I kind of remember from the first time. So yeah, make sure y'all comment where y'all from, all that stuff. We about to get to it. So I got some good old AMS oil, synthetic V-twin, cause it's a twin cam. And um, everything's a preference. I had Sin 3 in here from Harley. I just went with the the, uh, the AMS oil this time. So yeah, man, let's go ahead and get to it. So I'm gonna, uh, with your filter, anybody that knows, you want to fill it up a little bit and then lubricate the end right here. Uh, lubricate the, the, the trim. Let me see something real quick. Pittsburgh, what's, what's cracking, dog? Fontana, what's happening? All right. So I'm going to fill this, this filter up real quick and then set this to the side. Uh, matter of fact, I can actually use a little bit off of this one just to lube it up or dip my finger like that in the old oil, lube it up real good, pause, you know what I mean, and then add some of this oil to the filter, just a little bit, not too much. Mind you, I'm not looking at no manual or nothing. I'm just doing this based off my memory when I did it last time. And if y'all know, y'all follow my uh, y'all follow my journey with this bike when I first got it. The bike came from Pennsylvania. It had no no fluids changed and nothing. It was straight from the from the auction. So I did everything myself from the transmission fluid to the primary fluid, all that stuff. So. Man, I gotta say, I'm pretty proud. Y'all should be proud of your boy, man, because everybody, somebody will take it to a mechanic or to the Harley and, and pay $500. Let me take y'all over here with me real quick. Let's see. And I was saying, too, like, this tool right here to take your, uh, to take your filter off is a, is a necessity, too. So if you don't got one, or if you was wondering, like, how am I gonna get that filter off? Like, go down to Harley and they got them for you or i don't know where else <clears throat> i don't know where else they got them but i got mine from harley let me set y'all down real quick boom don't mind the messy garage y'all i've been sticking and moving i ain't had time to really tend to it so let me take these out i had these paper towels catching and some people use a towel but i use the paper towel Oil all down the 
down in there, but not as much as it would have been. So we're gonna slap that filter on before, before we add the oil, because we don't want no nothing leaking out. And when you put this filter on, you want to put the uh, the filter on hand tight. Let's get the other two to catch it. Nah, I didn't. I didn't grab that. I just. That's probably a good idea, but you know, I'm just doing quick and efficient. I didn't even get that tool, man. So I'm about to just hand tighten this filter real quick on here. Cause you don't want it to be too tight. Okay. And then I got, just like when you go to the car dealership and you, uh, and you get like the little sticker of how many miles the bike had when you changed it, you gotta do the same thing. You gotta do the same thing. Ugh, I feel like an old man, man. I'm only 30 years old. And I'm already feeling old. Hold on. Let's see, I wanna set y'all up. Where I'm gonna set y'all up? I got this little mini tripod right here, so. So, what's today, the 13th? Thirteen. How many miles we got on here now? 1,794. In a minute, I'm gonna have to go ahead and just beef up this motor, man. 974, all right, cool. Oh, man, what y'all on today? What y'all on? Y'all at work? Y'all uh, at the crib kicking it? What y'all doing? on there sticker got the oil drain got the fluid so the bike takes four quarts or four four liters 3.8 quarts or something like that so do a three and three and a half or three a little bit three three and three and some change or whatever so I got the oil drain so I was also saying just getting off work for sure, man. Get to that money. Get to that money. I was saying too, when you drain your oil, a lot of the people on YouTube say the same thing or, or any mechanic. Your drain plug got this little O-ring right here. You are supposed to change it out. Um, but honestly, it's not ruined. It's not cracking. I just, I just did it not too long ago, but I've been riding. I put the miles on the bike, so. Um, it ain't like if my bike sit out in the rain or sit in the cold or nothing like that. I keep it in the garage. So this this uh, O ring is still good, and we supposed to torque it down. But come on, man. Uh, only only somebody trying to be macho man is gonna torque it down way too tight. I might be going against the grain, but oh well, fuck it. We'll put this drain plug back in here. Real quick. Man. I'm gonna get my 16 millimeter. Uh, 16 millimeter, what you call it? Hold on. 
get my 16 millimeter socket on my wrench and tighten that thing down, man. Not too tight though. You don't want to strip the threads. Telling y'all, man, if y'all got a bike, stop paying Harley all that money to do something that you could do at home. And I, I didn't even need a jack stand for this. Like, you don't even need a jack stand for this. At first, I thought I was gonna need a jack stand when I first did it. You don't need no jack stand because the, the, the oil plug is on the left side where the kickstand is, and it drains out perfectly. <clears throat> Make sure y'all share the video, do whatever it is. Um, so I can support your boy. I appreciate all the love and support. Always. Subscribers been going up, y'all. Almost at a thousand subscribers. Uh, I gotta get that website set up so I can uh, get y'all some merch or something. I'm, I'm gonna have to have my my design do. I had to do my uh, clothing company a while back, do my design so I can get y'all hooked up with some some t-shirts or something, something. Wristbands, whatever it is. So that way y'all can enter to win this thing. I'm gonna change out the exhaust. I kind of want to get a new seat on here, but the, the, the factory seat is cool. It's, it's comfortable. I was gonna go for the Corbin seat, but uh, yeah. All right, so now I'm about to just add the oil. Let me just check off what I, let's see. Filter, plug. Okay, now I just gotta make sure I put the right amount of oil in here. Let me check some of these comments, man. What y'all talking about? What y'all in here talking about, man? Can't even see it. Just kill off where I pay 600 and replace my clutch never again. Nah, man, don't do it. Dude, I'm telling you. I swear, like, when I, when I, ever since I'm getting this bike, man, where I realized, like, when you, when you working on your stuff, on your bike, if you just, I, I did, I did, um, I, I did a flush of my, my clutch line and everything, right? Like, some people, like, it'd be like, oh, my God, like, how do I do that? And they say, like, you don't want to get air in the line. Uh, otherwise, your clutch won't work or it'll, it'll cause a major catastrophe, right? I mean, these mechanics be giving you, like, all kind of, all kind of things that can go wrong, which can go wrong. But um, sometimes, man, you got to learn how to do stuff on your own. But back to the, the clutch situation, man. If if you just do it yourself, take your time, um, watch the videos, get you um, one of them service manuals, which I need to get. So when I start tapping it to other things, because I was going to like try to like cam it and cam it and do all the cams and stuff, all, all, everything myself. Just get, the the most expensive part really is is the parts and but the tools man like the tools be costing like the um the parts be like you know 300 400 500 dollars a piece and then you got your um your tools be like 150 200 you know what i mean and i ain't no no big balling dude so i'm like man i'm gonna have to hold off and uh and what you call it and just do it when i can that's the key man don't be in a rush don't be in a rush with nothing in life man you know what i mean unless it's to pay your bills you gotta make sure you pay your bills on time otherwise you know you get kicked out of your apartment you get you lose your house pay them bills on time man don't be late don't be late all right let me see so i already cracked one of these open so this was like this is a quart, so I'm going to add the rest of this in. Just pour it slow. And what I'm going to do is, after I get the, the uh, oil in, I'm going to run it through a couple of heat cycles. Hopefully my wife don't get mad because my son is sleeping. Just pour that oil in there. Man, oh man. Hey, so whoever watching, comment down below what y'all ride, man, or 
if you don't ride and you just you know kicking it with your boy right now what you what are you looking to get or what would you if you had a bike what would you like to ride i mean shoot y'all we all got a got a dream bike but we all got something car dream car dream bike whatever it is all right man Wow, I'm looking over here and low key sweating. Kind of, uh, getting kind of warm up here. And I gotta reuse these bottles because I'm gonna put the old oil into these bottles and then drop them off at the, uh, at the auto spot. Recycle that stuff, man. <clears throat> you wanna know something funny? So when I first when I first uh did the oil change uh, on a bike, I put the full four quarts. Hardly say it's four quarts, but you're not supposed to put put the full four in. Um Cause if you if you got like a one of the dipsticks that like where it just kind of like you could just pull it off, um, it uh it the the pressure will build up and it you'll be shooting oil while you while you riding. So um, luckily that didn't happen to me, but when I took it to uh, my boy who's a mechanic, <coughs> um, he uh he told me he was like yeah you don't want to put the full four in, you just want to uh, put you know, three and some change, like, or whatever. So, because uh, the four is just, is just too much. Just because it holds four doesn't, it doesn't mean it requires the, the full four. So. And he was the only one that told me that. Somebody else told me that too. Um, I got another another homie who was, who's a uh, mechanic at Harley, and he told me the same thing, so. I'm not somebody commenting. I'm gonna I'm check you out in a minute. I gotta get these this oil up in here, man. I'm tired of being hunched over. My back killing me. I was at work, work yesterday, working like a slave. Okay. All right, so this is the fourth one. We're not gonna put the four, the whole, the full four in there. We're only gonna put. I say I put half in, maybe a little bit, a little bit over half. So this is where you really gotta pay attention. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, so we got all the oil in. Clap it up, give it up for your boy. <laughs> Man, all right. So we just gonna clean up, clean this funnel out because we don't want to be dripping nothing on the motor, smelling like motor, motor oil and stuff. Hope my sun is up so I can start this thing. Get these heat cycles in. So I'll go ahead. Put your dipstick in, and you can check the level right after. So it's showing full. So we got some good. We got good oil. It ain't over. It ain't over. Overly full. So that's a good thing. So we go put this back in here. All right, let me read the comments real quick. What y'all talking about? I know it's only like three or four people, but I know some people are coming in here, popping in, popping out. 
Yamaha V Star. Okay, Yamaha. I do want a Harley Road Glide, Street Glider, Road King, whichever come first. Man, take it from me. If you got it, let me see, you got the Honda, I mean the Yamaha. I don't know if that, I know something like the Hondas and the Yamahas and stuff. We having like the little fairings and stuff. If you got a fairing on your bike right now, whatever you ride, whether it's a Go Wing, Yamaha, if you want the Road Glide, man, just, just pay the extra money, man. Trust me, because I got this Road King and I really, really wanted a Road Glide, but the Road Glides cost more. And typically, like, especially in the, the Austins, they're going to go for more, too. Um, but I cheaped out. I got the Road King uh, 13 CVO with the stock bars, dude. Man, hey, that's crazy. CVO gang. You know what? The CVO, um, it's, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, it's a rare bike. When I looked it up, I think they only made like 3,600 of them or something like that. And then 2014 was the last year. Then they start doing the road king specials when well, ain't nothing really special about it man i mean they got the 114s and all that stuff but man the cvo's the 2013 the 2014 they came with like custom paint jobs and don't be getting on me y'all i still ain't got my bags hit i don't have time i support a family of four but look the cvo 2013 2014 they come with like these custom this custom paint and so what's been like y'all hear that somebody rolling i live right here by a busy street somebody always riding by but look this custom paint it's hard to duplicate this man like you can't even get it from harley no more so if y'all been wondering like why man this dude said he gonna get the bags painted why he ain't got them painted yet it's mainly because like er, for one everybody trying to charge you arm and leg because it's hard to duplicate the paint job for two, um, yeah, it's it's just hard to it's just hard to duplicate that man. So honestly, I just been thinking like, dang, should I try to duplicate? Should I try to duplicate the paint, the paint job on the bags, or should I just change the paint? Which I really don't like. My intentions was to keep the bike original as possible um, when I got it. So that's what I really want to do. So the only other option was to paint the bags that blue, like this blue right here, this blue right here, just like, just paint the bags the basic blue because the colors and everything already like, they like the, the graphics, they flow to the back from, the, from the, the front fender all the way to the back. The side coverings got them too, but I could have been like, all right, I'm gonna get the side coverings painted just this basic blue too. And that way it'll kind of be like flowing, you know, perfect or whatever. But you can see I got the old bag over there. I got the old bag sitting over there. So the old bag had the graphics on it and stuff. But um, yeah, man, you know, it's a it's a battle that I deal with or whatever. But uh, I gotta get this oil in these uh, containers, man. So that's. <clears throat> y'all gonna watch me struggle for a minute but man if you uh just now tuning in make sure you guys comment where you from i know some people have been sitting on here some people have been popping in but make sure you comment down below where you from i love to see where my supporters is coming from because uh to be honest, I really wish I could get out of California more often, but because of certain limitations, AKA a J-O-B, always making me come in, uh, I'll be limited, man. I gotta support a family. So, so look, all right. I'm gonna have to, how much is this? <clears throat> I'm going to transfer some of this oil to this pan because this other one is so full. Y'all gonna see me be extra goofy and spill oil all over my garage floor. Uh, pour some of this up in there. 
that way it ain't rushing out you see how i don't know if y'all can see the oil just come rushing out of the pan imagine putting the oil imagine here let me get this straightened up imagine putting the oil into the funnel and they come rushing out on you <clears throat> let's see how can i get y'all set up even better man because this setup is extra goofy I just do that. Woo! Almost done. I'm trying not to get oil on my clothes. That's one, man, extra time consuming doing this today. I definitely did it faster this time than I did when I first did it though. Practice, practice you guys, practice. Get them reps in just like the gym. So when I do my oil change the third time, I should be that much faster. Hit your boy up if you need your oil change, man. I ain't gonna charge you nothing. Nothing too crazy, of course. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, okay. Dude, is this gonna overflow too fast? Some left in the other one. Which I don't know what to do with that. I'll probably save it next time. Let's see if I use the same oil. Probably should use the same oil every time. Ooh. 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 Hold on. Hold up. Wait a minute. Pour that oil in there just like so. Pour a little bit faster because now it's done. Next is the heat cycles. And then I might take y'all for a little ride with me, man. I might have to get that on uh, another video. I don't know. See any comments? What y'all talking about? Texas, I'm waiting on the Eagle Light to come in. Oh yeah, Eagle Lights. Man, did you uh did you know about to find out about the Eagle Lights? Um from my, my uh what you call it from my video or did you <coughs> or did you um already know about it? Either one. Year or year, if you must. Right, hopefully she agrees. 
for a new Harley to even 2019 last year. Yeah, man. Hey, <laughs> what they be saying is the most cliche saying ever. Happy wife, happy life. Definitely got to make sure she happy. Hey, make sure y'all hit the thumbs up button, man. Appreciate you, Andrew. Out here supporting your boy. Make sure I hit the thumbs up. If you come in, hit the thumbs up, man. I want to get this video out because I, I hope it's super helpful. I know it's not chopped and edited, but it's the rawest form. Okay, for sure. Okay. All right, for sure, ZZ. Yeah, man. Um, the, uh, yeah, this, this video is in the rawest form, man. Like, I, I ain't going to sit here. And cap with y'all, be chopping, editing. Y'all ain't seen me make no phone calls to nobody saying, "Oh man, how you do this?" No, man, I just did it like off the off the memory from last time. So um, next, I gotta get these heat cycles in real quick. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna start the bike. Matter of fact, I might actually pull it out <clears throat> and do that because I don't want to um, I don't want it to vibrate in my garage too much. Hold on, let me, y'all bear with me real quick. I gotta put some of this stuff away. Yeah. Hey, yeah, ZZ, uh, that, uh, that Eagle Light, shh. I was riding, riding home one night and, uh, live, I, I live out like, like where it's kind of rural and, Man, the headlight lit up the whole, the whole road. The eagle lights is the truth. I mean, there's a lot of good lights out there. I mean, a few good lights, I should say. But eagle lights, I stand by it for sure, man. Uh, just take your time when you install it. Uh, YouTube, whatever, whatever you gotta do. But it's pretty like plug and play. It's pretty simple. If you, I don't know what kind of bike you putting it on. But if you if you put the eagle light on a road king, like road king is so simple, you just pop the, the little bezel off, pop the light off, all that, and then you can also adjust it too. Um, I learned a lot. This bike is teaching me a lot, man. It's, I think it's it's definitely preparing me for my road glide. You know what I mean? It's definitely preparing me for my road glide. So, uh, yeah. To the auto shop, put this to the side. <clears throat> I got a couple of these things I gotta take to the you know, auto spot. Man, so I almost had a glob of oil sitting over here, man. Whoa. Like this up real good and just put it back. Because I'm going to use it again. Probably.
Ah, I'm back, y'all. I'm biggity, 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 biggity back, y'all. Let me wipe this camera off real quick. I don't know why I look foggy. Let me see. What you think about the Baja Design headlight? I haven't seen that one. The Baja Design headlight. I'm at, is that the name of the, the, the what you call it? Or the, is, it a, is it like an actual design of the, uh, the headlight? If it's the name of the company, I, I never heard of them before. I'm definitely open to check them out, though. Um, let's show you. Yeah. Put this back. We're going to pull this thing out. Um, perfect timing because my neighbors probably ain't even home from work yet. So... We can make all the noise that we want. Make all the noise that we want, man. Let me see. All right, let me see if I can get y'all ah, rigged up real quick. I don't even think I'm gonna be able to set this up the right way. You know what? I can. Hold on. Gotta loosen this up. Wrong way. God, dog. Hold on, y'all. Take it. I'm gonna try to set y'all up on my little phone mount. Real quick. Trying to hurry up because I got some other things to do today. And I just kind of want to knock this out real quick. This oil chain. So, set up like that. Almost, almost, almost. Boom. Just like that. Boom. Okay. We Gucci. Oh, wait. All right. All right, we set up, y'all. Cool. Little bike out. And, uh, get these heat cycles in real quick. All right, <laughs> pray for your boy. Should be good. First, first start after the new oil. After the new oil change, make sure I got everything looking good. Okay, oil filter. Let's see, oil filter is on. Oil has changed. All right, I'm good. Good, a good way to practice. <laughs> make sure you got everything make sure you got everything uh everything is everything before anything man so let's go ahead and get it started do i got it in neutral yeah so i'm gonna do some heat cycles and the heat cycle is just letting the engine run, getting the getting the motor uh, oil hot, letting it flow through the engine, and then uh, letting it flow. So you don't want to be revving it and doing nothing like that. Just let it heat up. Little slip on sound they sound good sound good in person I, I know they sound soft uh they sound soft through the camera probably all right 
So that's one. It sound cool. Doesn't nothing sound like it's being broke. <coughs> It's about to rain out here. That's another reason why I ain't really been doing no vlogging or nothing because the rain been killing me. Hold on. I hate it. I can't see. I can't imagine how like people where it be storming all the time, how they feel. Can't never get a ride in. It's only summer activities. Go for a quick ride, y'all.
like that. Just like that. Yo, I was trying to tell y'all, I don't know if y'all heard, but when I was, when <laughs> I got on a busy street and I popped clutch and the bike got sideways, right? And the, uh, the sheriff was like literally pulled over, stopped with somebody. They looked at me and all, <laughs> my eyes was like, whoa. Yeah, I got lucky. Luckily they would stop and pull somebody over because <clears throat> they for sure would have got your boy. But yeah, man, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Well, I got this good old oil change. If you new tuning in right now, I know it's like two people in here. <clears throat> Make sure you hit the thumbs up. Let's get this video out. Um, man, I wish I had somebody to record me while I was burning rubber and doing all the all the uh, all the extras. But yeah, man, appreciate y'all for tuning in. So as always, peace and love. Make sure I go watch my other videos. I'm about to post this video. Peace.